Good evening YouTube. Well, uh, it's been about a week since I put my last video up and as promised uh, I've been painting the Forge World Imperial Space Marine so as you can see, just teasing you a little bit there, got it all covered up so it took a little bit longer than I expected uh, to take to paint it up and I used far too many paints than I anticipated but here we go. So this is the marine finished. Uh, so as you can see we've got the cape there. So all painted up. A very subtle uh, dry brush of uh, Wild Rider Red over the top of that. One of the, forge, uh, one of the GW layer paints. So, if we take this, I need to get one of those lazy Susans, I think, be able to spin these around nicely. So, basically, if I just move the model out of the way a second, we'll get back to that. These are pretty much all the paints used in, and a couple of washes, glazes over there. These are all the paints used in painting the model. So, uh, the bolt has only just been glued on, so it's still a little bit wet. So, uh, the model in detail. Well, I started off, uh, obviously, sprayed it all black, cast black. And then I probably should have done the cape after the green, but I did the cape first. Uh, sprayed that with a Vallejo model air colour. Uh, just the orange one. Uh, just sprayed it over, got a great effect just by spraying it and just going heavier in some areas and lighter in others. So that worked great for the cape on the back and the tabard on the front. You can see there. So, just seems to sit nicely in the recesses. And then with that, I then used the crimson. Uh, Carburg Crimson Shade. Sorry, I'm still getting used to all the names of the uh, colour changes. So I did that over the top, then dry brushed the layer back up. Uh, as for the green, I just used the black green from Vallejo to get a base down, and then I washed down slightly and then dry brushed Snot Green. Uh, back up onto there. Uh, it worked out quite well. So for the gold on the skulls, I used and that one there, and on uh, that is actually been sprayed black and then resprayed with gold, and then it's had a. I've still got the old wash, uh, Griffin Sapia wash. So that went over the top of the gold and then dry brushed uh, Arik Armour Gold over the top of that. They brought it up nicely. So the skulls mainly were dry, uh, airbrushed, sorry. You see the little transfers stuck on the side there. So the gold was airbrushed on and then just washed over with sepia wash and then lightly dry brush back up with the GW layer Arik Gold Arik Armour Gold <clears throat> so it was that uh, similar sort of thing with the bolt gun I sprayed that with the Vallejo uh, model air spray and washed over it again sepia wash and then a highlight slash dry brush the Arik gold over the top of that. And pretty much the same rinse and repeat basically for all the gold areas. So the helmet I'm particularly fond of. I uh, decided instead of keeping it green I'll go with a bit of the black it accentuates the you know, makes the eye lenses stand out a bit more. I know the traditional GW colour for salamanders uh, well sorry paint scheme for salamanders is 
pretty much green all over. I've seen a few with the black helmet, so I quite like the black helmet there. Um, it just breaks the model up a little bit more. Uh, but they do the yellowy greeny lenses. Uh, to me, because I've done all my Forge World so like Heresy era kind of Space Marines red lens, it kind of, kind of fits with them. Cause you know, with the fluff and that of the models, uh, sorry, fluff of the Marines, the planet they're on, they actually have red red eyes, so the red lens just transfers across, makes more sense to me than just going the orange, uh, sorry, the yellow. So, so there it is, pretty much, and then just a bit of detailing, because I couldn't get a, a symbol big enough for the salamanders, so I stuck as just a normal GW transfer onto the helmet and then obviously the fire, uh, fire drake symbol on his shoulder to say that he's a veteran So, and I think the skull on the right shoulder means he's a command so I just used parts of the forge world kit and a few transfers a uh, couple of hours, of, I'd say a couple of hours more like 30 minutes, 40 minutes a, a night over the last week just to chill out from work, just painting this up. And um, you probably can't tell, but on the helmet there was uh, it was painted black and then uh, charred and granite dry brush over the top. And the same for the backpack. But there we go. That is one model pretty much finished. <laughs> quite quickly as well. So that's a nice little display piece and a little bit about the base. As you can see there I picked out the bolter shells. Uh, I just went over with Scorch Brown or is it the base was Kelth Kelton Brown and then I washed the black over that. It and then just a light dry brush of I can't find the colour. Uh, yeah, uh, Beastial Brown, so I dry brush over the top of that. And, and then with a light dusting of white, and then again over the top of that. Yeah, probably a little bit of white used around there. Now I used Adaptus Battle Grey for the stone parts. Bad Ab Black Wash over that, and then Astronomicon dry brush up. So, there we go. Quite impressed with the base. Uh, it came out better than I expected it to. And I'm pleased with the whole model to be fair. So finally it was sat in a box for pretty much a year. Got around to building it. Sat around for another couple of months. Green stuffed it and painted within a week. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So guys hopefully uh, you've enjoyed seeing this model finished as much as I am. And uh, I'll be back shortly with another video. So YouTube, stay safe and I'll be seeing you soon.